Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens and Strong on SmackDown. Sean Ross Sapp of Fightful.com at Sean Ross Sapp. Kevin Owens is back and joining the Brutes for War Games. Putty, this, this is our last show that we'll have before Survivor Series where the War Games match will happen. So I want to ask you this right here, right now. Who wins the War Games match, the Bloodline or the Brutes? I would, I would guess the Brutes. Why? Why, why? why are you leaning so fast to them? Because the bloodline's unstoppable, unbeatable, the longest reigning champion in the modern era. The Usos are the longest reigning tag team champions of all time. So losing in a non title match for no reason wouldn't hurt them because they're not dropping their belts. Roman Reigns can get pinned, what, three to two, odd man out. We still have what we still have one more SmackDown before we still have a Gome show. So anything yeah. they could put all the belts on the line. That could happen. I don't see that happening. That doesn't usually happen in war games. I don't see that happening. So I just feel like this is a way that Roman can lose cleanly. It, it, it without, happened to BWF though. It's what you're saying. Without getting without hurting him or without losing any momentum. I feel like the the, the Brutes get a more push. Oh, now I, we beat Roman Reigns. Let's launch one of us into the title picture. Or pinned him, I guess. I think the Brutes should win here. Whoever pins him. So there are three capable people of pinning Roman Reigns here. There's Sheamus, yeah. there's Drew McIntyre, and there's Kevin Owens. Right? Three capable people of having a world championship uh, opportunity after this match is done. But that's that also means there are three alpha males in this on that same team that admittedly they don't necessarily all get along. They've had rivalries before in the past. Could that play a factor here? Absolutely. Who right. Probably uh, somebody will pin him like, oh, I want to pin him. And I want to pin him. That right. third that slides right in. It, there's, a lot, there's a lot of potential here with the Brutes winning. So many storylines to go for. There's a lot. Of, I think I disagree with you. I, I think it's more. There's more of an opportunity for the bloodline to win here. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. The championships are not in the line, so there's a good opportunity for the bloodline to lose one. Uh, but the bloodline is just too strong. They're they're a tight knit unit. Are you know, they? they? They are the because well, of because of Sami Zayn. That's is that what you're saying. No, to Jay Uso, the crack. Everyone loves Sami Zayn, so Jay Uso's being that crack in the foundation. Maybe something close to a head there. That's one tiny crack. Meanwhile, the Brutes have three huge cracks. <laughs> you're, you're a child. <laughs> but you see what I'm saying? Like, it, I feel like the, the whole dissension, like, they're not a tight knit unit with the Brutes. You have three guys who could vie for a world heavyweight championship run who would want to be the one to pin Roman Reigns. Like I I that's a big deal. Like, like the, that, the, that that's a much, much bigger deal here. than then what? Then what? Yeah, then what happens next? Roman Reigns. Then you, you, you have you have the Royal Rumble. Then what? See what happens in the weekend. Like I can see, I can see honestly, like Roman pulling something that Brock Lesnar once said, he he'll put himself in a Royal Rumble, and defend his championship against everyone. I'll see that. That would be cool. You know, be, awesome. be, be pure God mode. You know what I mean? Right. Like, what if he wins? 